Hey everybody, Section 8 here. I just wanted to make a quick video on how to bypass your TSS switch uh, and keep your kill switch on your 97 and older Artie Cat snowmobiles. Uh, Blaine had made a video about this and how he does it. His, he cuts uh, two of the wires and then splices them together and that's fine uh, if you don't want your kill switch to work. But I want my kill switch. So, I'm going to show you real quick how that how that works, and uh, let's go have a look. All right, so here we are at our sled, and our goal is to uh, keep our kill switch, lose our TSS switch. Okay, uh, pretty simple. Basically, the the theory behind it all is uh, your TSS switch, when you come off throttle, will complete the circuit for the machine to keep running. When you're at an idle, you have magnetic switches on each carburetor uh, that complete the circuit for you, okay? But as your pistons come up inside your carburetors, it breaks that connection, and that's where your TSS switch takes over, okay? And that's in case, uh, for some reason, whatever, uh, one of your pistons are up or, or hung inside your carburetor or both of them, uh, the, mus the the sled won't run, okay? But I don't fear that that will ever happen. Uh, in fact, I always work my throttle a couple of times, and I can hear those pistons hitting the bottom. So, anyway, to keep that kill switch, we're going to get our meter. We're going to turn it on. We're going to locate our three-prong wire. Uh, Blaine talks about them being up in here sometimes uh, where you have to take these two buttons out and then there's two on the other top side and then uh, this part comes right off of the gauges and you can get to those wires. Mine happens to be down here already uh, because when I had my sled apart before I uh, took the factory zip ties off and made this accessible just in case in the future this problem arose. So here's mine. It's flat as you notice, there's three wires in a row. So we need to know which two we're going to jump. We're not going to be cutting anything because if we cut them, uh, then we lose our kill switch. So go ahead, disconnect them. Let me put the camera down here. Okay, we got them disconnected. We got our meter on, and I have a sound button. Uh, my meter so I don't have to look at my meter to check continuity um, and all we're going to do is we're going to take these leads right here and we're trying to figure out which switch of the two we want to jump which lead now 99 percent of the time uh, the way these uh, wiring is uh, produced from the factory 99 percent of the time uh, the oddball, I call this the oddball, is going to be the common. This this uh, lead right here is shared between both switches, your kill switch and your TSS switch. And then these two other leads, one is for the kill switch and one is for the TSS switch, which complete the circuit, one or the other. And what you want to do is you want to look for which one it is. I'm just checking my meter and notice I have nothing there. Now this next lead, uh, you'll put it in here and as you work the throttle uh, with these two leads stuck in here, it'll give you a signal and take it away. It's making continuity and then it's breaking it. And you can, if you have an analog meter, you can just watch your needle bouncing back and forth as you work your throttle. Uh, and I can verify that with this Again, that's my kill switch. Now it's off, and now it's on. So, I already know that these two right here are my TSS switch, okay? Uh, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece of wire, I'm using a 20 gauge, and just bend it into an S shape, something like that. And then you're going to stick it in the leads 
that you are that you're suspecting or which I know for a fact are my uh, TSS switch and then I'm gonna take that to the common and then we're gonna plug it back in together something like that of course you'll plug yours in better uh, but I've already I'm just using it for demonstrations so anyway and then you've jumped those two you haven't cut any wires and everything should work just fine and you should have a kill switch so let's check it out And it works so go ahead and just uh, tape that up if you want um, squeeze it back together better and then put it up inside there I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks again Blaine and Casey for all your help at snowmobileforum.com uh, I know guys like myself really appreciate your input